Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video that I'm really excited to do and I feel like it could be the start of like a series of videos that I do maybe like once or twice a year and it is going to be books that I recommend to people that are trying to get into reading, things that I feel like will really help you kind of get into different genres and kind of enjoy them and then you can start exploring other things. I have read I feel like a ton but not as much as a lot of other people so I definitely feel like over the years and as the months go on I will be able to find more books that I'm like oh this would be perfect for somebody who wants to get into this or somebody who wants to start reading fantasy or romance but I have a little stack here of books that I feel like would be really good to get you into different genres or if you just aren't a reader and want to become a reader or want to find a book that you think you really enjoy I think some of these recommendations would work best for you. So I'm going to start off with horror, but I'm going to kind of do horror slash thriller to start. I have not found a horror book yet that I feel like would really encapsulate somebody who isn't really necessarily into reading, who wants to get into reading. I've read so many great horror books. Don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of five-star horror books in my eyes, but I also feel like I wouldn't recommend them to a first-time reader. There's something I would wait to recommend until you're like kind of a little bit into horror and then you're like okay what's your favorite and then I would recommend them so I'm kind of starting with horror slash thriller and so this leans a little bit more horror to me but it, it does have a lot of thrilling aspects so this is the only one I guess I would recommend and it's Hidden Pictures by Jason Ruckalak I feel like this book works really well for a new reader because it's very fast paced and the author just kind of jumps into the story really quickly. You don't have to pick up on any sort of cues, like everything is just kind of told to you straight up and you can just run with the story. This is such a good book. I think I gave this four or five stars. I had such a good time with this. It is very spooky, very scary, but not necessarily horror. It's just a really, really good time. And I feel like if you're someone who wants to kind of maybe dip their toes into horror, I would start with this and then potentially be like, okay, what can, how far can I push myself until I'm like actually scared or see what types of horror you're more interested in. If you're more interested in like monsters, paranormal, um, body horror, um, like subtle horror, Stephen King, anything like that. So I feel like this is a good jumping off point is to start with hidden pictures. Like I said, it does lean a little bit more thriller-y too, but it's a great time, honestly. So I would definitely recommend this, especially if you're trying to get into horror. Another author that I would recommend, author that I would recommend if you're wanting to get into horror slash thriller but leaning a little bit more is Riley Sager. So I have read a few Riley Sager books and I feel like every single one that I've read so far except for maybe one which was Final Girls, I think it's actually right here, um, is something that I really enjoyed and I feel like you could pick up any Riley Sager as a new reader and really enjoy his writing. It's very easy to read. Uh, my personal favorite though is Home Before Dark. This is one I gave five stars. I read it this year and it truly was out of all the Riley Sagers I've read so far, my absolute favorite. It's Haunted House scary. It's a little paranormal scary, but it does lean more thriller. I think Riley Sager is classified as a thriller author, but there are some scarier, more horror elements to his books. So I do recommend this for thriller readers if you want to kind of dip your toes once again into horror because it is a little bit spookier, a little bit scarier. But I think any Riley Sager is good. Home Before Dark's amazing, House Across the Lake, and I think the other one I read is Lock Every Door that I loved completely. He has three other books that I haven't read yet, but they are on my TBR, and I'm really excited to get to them. So I definitely suggest Sager. He's one of my favorite authors, especially if you want to dip your toes into a little bit of horror, but also more thriller. The last sort of thriller book I would recommend if you want to dip your toes into thriller or if you're a new reader, this especially, if you're a new reader, if you want to get into reading, I think this book could be a great jumping off point for you. It's The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. I feel like Frieda McFadden's writing is so easy to digest. It's very simple, very easy. There's not a lot of like eloquent writing or anything that you really have to wrap your brain around you can just sit there and zone out and read this book and you'll be flipping pages so quick because I'm telling you the story flies with this one this one and never lie are two that I think new readers would absolutely enjoy the housemaid is really great thriller great page turner I think if you want to get into thrillers this is a good place to start as well I'm such a good I love a good thriller but I think this is good for new readers especially like this isn't what I would recommend to someone who's read a million thrillers and is like give me a thriller read this is something i would recommend to a new reader the housemaid perfect for you to get into thrillers perfect for you to get into reading 
this is a good one by Frieda McFadden. Like I said at the beginning, I haven't read a ton of genres and I haven't read a ton, a ton of books yet. So I kind of hope that this series expands in the next year. And if you want to see more of this, definitely let me know because I only have like three more kind of genres to jump into. But the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, oh, I can't wait till like next year when I can recommend so many more to you guys. Next book I would recommend for a new reader is something that I think you would really enjoy if you want kind of like a mystery kind of fun not necessarily scary but like fun mystery that's just a good time that will get you into the plot and get you into like reading more and that's the inheritance games now i have a love-hate relationship with this series but i think this first book the inheritance games is absolutely fantastic for new readers it's by jennifer lynn barnes and it is ya too so if you're an adult trying to get into reading i think this is a good book for you just because the writing is really easy it's really simple the mystery of it all is really fun. If you like Knives Out, you'd love this book. But I feel like this is such a fun way to get you also into series -es if you're like more interested in trying to finish more series books instead of series books, not serious books, versus like reading standalones. I think that The Inheritance Games is a great book to start with. I think it's fun. I think it's a good time. It's not scary. It's just you're solving a mystery with the main character, and it's a lot of fun. Shockingly enough, I have the most recommendations for a genre that I don't necessarily read that much anymore, and that's romance. So I have, I guess I would say three different recommendations. The first is an author. Again, I think if you're going to read any romance book and you've never read before, not never read before, but if you're wanting to get into reading, I think Emily Henry is the place to start. So I've only read these three. I haven't read Happy Place yet. I'm really looking forward to it coming out in paperback so I can pick it up. I think Emily Henry is a really good author to start with if you want to get into reading. These three books, Beach Read, Book Lovers, and People We Meet on Vacation, are three just absolutely fantastic romances. All I think I gave them all four to five stars. I actually, when I started reading, like getting back into reading, People We Meet on Vacation was one of the first books I read. And I had such a good time with this that I felt like I needed to read more Emily Henry. So then these two books followed. I think, like I said, you could easily pick up any one of these three and have a great time. Whatever your preference. If you're like, oh, I want to read a beach read. Oh, I want to read about book lovers. Oh, I want to read about people we meet on vacation. Like you could literally pick up any one of these three and I think you would really enjoy it. Emily Henry is a great author. I'm telling you, she, her writing's super easy to read, really captivating and her characters are so fantastic and I love reading about them. So anything from Emily Henry, I promise you, you'll like. This book also really got me back into reading and it's such a great romance and it's probably one of my all-time favorite romances and you shouldn't be shocked. It's Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I recommended this book to everybody and I know like four or five of my friends have read this and been like, this was one of the best books I've ever read. It's so good. I'm telling you, if you want to get into reading and you're like, I think I'd be a romance reader. Love in other words. It's so good. It's so good. It's so sweet and wholesome and just... Mm, such a good time. Speaking of sweet and wholesome, the last romance book I'm going to recommend to you is a YA. Lynn Painter's Better Than the Movies. Oh, this is another book I read this year that really just captured my heart. It's so good. It's YA romance. So it's about two kids in high school. So if you're wanting to get into reading, you're like, I don't want to read about high school romances. I'd pass on this one. But it's so good. Like, it's so sweet. And it just gives you all the good feels. Like, if you want a good feel kind of book, this is the one for you. Okay, and then last but not least, I have not read a ton of fantasy. I really haven't. If I were to recommend any fantasy to anybody, especially a new reader, I'm going to recommend A Quarter of Thorns and Roses. I'm just going to. Sarah J Moss, I, I'm i in the middle, or like middle, like beginning of Throne of Glass right now. I read Throne of Glass. I just finished Crown of Midnight, so I'm going back to Assassin's Blade. Anyway, forget that. Read A Quarter of Thorns and Roses first because I feel like this is the easiest fantasy I have read thus far. I feel like the way Sarah J Maas writes her characters, especially in this book, it's very easy to digest. The world building is very easy to digest. She doesn't throw all of the world politics at you right away. She's not throwing any high fantasy at you right away. Like it comes in time, but it comes in waves. So it's very easy to understand. It's very easy to get. You're not confused out the gate. You understand what's going on throughout the entire book. And along with that, especially with fantasy, 
fantasy, sometimes things can drag. I'm not gonna have you read The Hobbit and have you sit there for 10 pages reading about a tree. That's just not how it's gonna work. Sarah J Moss, her pacing is so good. You are moving so quickly through the story, but you're picking up on everything. You're understanding everything. You're not confused. It's such a good starting point for fantasy, in my opinion. I think you should 100%, especially if you think you'd be a fantasy lover, A Court of Thorns and Roses. It is hyped for a reason. There is a reason that everyone loves this book. It is amazing. It is written well. It is easy to follow. And once you get into this book and you really like this one, just read the second one right away. Just please, please just read the second one right away. I promise you it's amazing. So this is my recommendation for fantasy. This video made sense and I hope that these were good recommendations for you, especially if you're a new reader. Like I said, these are not recommendations for people that are already into reading and already love reading. I suggest these for new readers because this is gonna get you into reading. This is gonna make you wanna pick up more books. This is gonna make you wanna watch booktube and see what everybody else is currently reading so that way you can read that too. These are just great starting points to get into other genres as well or to get into a specific genre. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you've read any of these and what your thoughts were. No shame though, because I love all of these. And hopefully you enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.